As few people have signed up to receive their triple stimulus vouchers in digital form, officials are expecting over 13 million people to head to convenience stores or the post office to pick up paper vouchers. That's a recipe for potential disaster. On Thursday, Zhonghua Post held a live demo event to show the country how the system will work. Transport Minister Lin Jialong was there to show support and give tips on how to avoid the crowds. Triple stimulus vouchers are available to collect from next week. At this demo of a distribution center, potential problems were played out. This character is angry. He arrived at the crack of dawn and now it turns out he missed his number. The employee brings him to a special window just for folk like him. Some post officers are planning to offer drinks and snacks to people as they wait to defuse tensions. As queues lengthen, extra windows will open. People who are only collecting one or two individuals' vouchers can join a fast queue. Some will be able to leave their NHI card at the window and pick it up again along with the vouchers, hopefully saving time. Next week, triple stimulus vouchers will be ready for collection at post offices. When it's your turn, bring your 1,000 NT and bring your NHI card to the post office. Officials estimate it will take just two and a half minutes. The post office will open special windows to ease the flow. Officials estimate that 13.4 million people will collect paper vouchers. If it takes 2.5 minutes for one person to collect their quota, one window can serve 200 people a day. That means the whole operation will take 20 days to complete nationwide. To handle crowds, collection will be limited by the number on a person's NHI card. If the last number on your card is odd, you can collect on Monday, Wednesday, Friday or Saturday. If the last number is even, you can collect on Tuesday, Thursday or Saturday. And you can collect vouchers on behalf of up to four other people. I've chosen to collect mine in August, when the big crowds will have already been and gone. We expect the first two weeks to be the busiest period. The transport chief set an example of holding back to avoid the crowds. On Saturday, July 18th and Saturday, July 25th, Taiwan's post office staff will work overtime all day long to distribute vouchers at 1,269 offices nationwide. If the stimulus scheme is to reach its goal, the wheels have got to spin at every step.